Hi everyone. Hello. It's Kirsten. And Jörg. Thank you so much for joining us on the channel today, especially because I'm back in the UK. Yes, she's back. <laughs> yeah. I spent some weeks in Germany and I came back with some Christmas stuff. Yes, because it's getting Christmassy. Yes, we're slowly getting into the festive mood, festive spirit. Yeah. And yeah, we thought we would share what we think is a very traditional German Christmas. Yeah, and what you need. Yes, what you need. Decoration, a bit of sweet stuff, yeah. I think. And we have to say, we think if you, if you want to have something very special and something that will last forever, you have to buy your stuff from from the Erzgebirge, from yeah. the All Mountains. All Mountains, yeah. Because they have a huge tradition. Yeah. They have been... And that's where you get the best stuff. Yes, exactly. High quality, handmade. They have... People there have been blowing glass for nearly 200 years. Yeah. And, yeah, it, we think you have to buy yeah. there. Yeah. To make it the most authentic. And I found a brand, it's called... Kreiner? Yes, and I think the website is Der Christbaum. Yeah, it looks a bit old-fashioned, but the stuff they're selling... Is really nice. Yes, it's gorgeous. And I went for, when I when I ordered, I went for the vintage stuff. So they're actually, yeah, they're using the molds. The old, the old molds from, from the golden years. Yes, they say well, old molds between 1870 and 1920. Yes, so... So designs are 100 year old. Yes, so that's just beautiful. We went for one bauble that has a dwarf on it because it refers to to the fantasy and fairy tale yes, land. and it looks funny. Yes, it's pretty. And then this one, Jörg, an acorn. Yeah. Because, yeah... You used to have stuff from the forest yeah. on your tray. And some fruit. Grapes. Yes, because it symbolized wealth. Yeah. So grapes in different shades. Red. This one is lilac. Very pretty. Yeah. And also a strawberry. Mm hmm. I can't wait. We do have a lot of stuff, like... Those of you who have been following us for quite a while saw that we decorated our tree last year, but we thought we would need some more stuff. Yeah. And yeah, we will of course decorate our tree as well, yeah, and we will we'll film it, I think probably next week. And also, we mustn't forget toys. You also used to have toys on your yeah. tree. And these are li nice little drums. They are so pretty. I'm obsessed yeah. with them. Mm. So gorgeous. So this is very traditional and old-fashioned. And then, some of you might know the Victorian Albert Museum in London, which is just stunning. Yeah. We can highly recommend we love it. it. Yes. And Prince Albert, I mean... A German. Yes, a German. And... Christmas in the UK yeah. without yeah. Prince Albert, yeah? I think, yeah, he did a lot for Christmas in the UK. Yes, he did. Uh, he shaped it <laughs> uh, together with, his, with Queen Victoria. Yes. And at one time, they had something on display from the All Mountains from a brand called Grebsglas. It's a very old brand, yeah. very traditional. And what we got from them are these very pretty Victorian children. Mm. They look quite old-fashioned. Yes. But I simply fell in love with them. Really nice. I love the colours. Yeah. They are just... But we have to be careful. Pretty. We have to be very They're careful. They're very delicate. Yeah. So this is something that you should have. Or something from Krebsglas because yes. it's an amazing company. Yeah, Krebsglas Lauscher. Yeah. And Lauscher, by the way, have you ever read the book? Many years ago, I read a novel called Die Glasbläserin. 
No, I've the never. glass blower. No. 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 My my dad bred it as well, and it's so so good. It's really really good. Can highly recommend the book. And also from Krebs Glass, we have these pretty icicles. Oh yes. How do you like them, Jan? Mm, I want to lick on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are no, really nice. pretty, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. So Krebs Glass is, yeah. Mm, beautiful. Yeah, we can highly recommend it. Just have to be careful. And what you need for a traditional German Christmas yeah. Is all the wooden things yes, from the like, old mountains. Like these tiny guys. Yes. Yeah. They are called Winterkinder. Yeah. And these are miners. Yes. They are stunning. Because, because they have a mining tradition in the old mountains. Yes. And the funny thing is where Kirsten comes from, they also have a mining tradition. So so it bonds to, to where she comes from. Too. Yes, it does. Yeah. And all of this stuff is... A bit more expensive because it's handmade yes, there. Yes, and hand painted and yeah, yeah, and it's really nice. But we think they also make great presents. Yes, and yeah. also this one, also from the Winter Kinder, and I fell in love with this one. Yeah, you can actually have a light in there, and I forgot to bring it. Yeah, so because you need it. Yeah, you need something. Something. We forgot to buy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we will do it next yeah. year. But this is, I think this makes the most beautiful present for Christmas. Yeah. If you like stuff yeah. like and that. you can put it on your, let's say, table yeah. and just enjoy it. Yes. It's so pretty. Yes. And you can just, you can see that it, the quality is really good, I think. Yeah. And... And it's a timeless, timeless decor. And it I think is. That's the nice thing. It you know, is. You can use it year after year after year. Yes. And never get bored. Never, never. Now the smoker is something that we showed last year yeah. because we've had it for some years, and. But this belongs to traditional German Christmas. It does. Because you know, usually everybody has it. Yes, and also from the All Mountains, of course, and yeah. It's very easy to yeah. use and depending on what scent you like, yeah. you can choose whatever yes. you prefer. So and you yeah. just <laughs> put it on and then enjoy it. Yes. And also, by the way, the smoker was a gift from my mom and my sister some years ago. And it's also a wonderful memory. Yeah. And then what you really need is a pyramid. Yes, like this one. Yeah. A pyramid is a must for a traditional German Christmas, we think. Yeah. I think we've also showed this last year. Yes, we showed it last year. This was a present yeah. as well. And, and this is only a small one. They are really big ones. Oh, yes. And there are no price limits. Yes, there are no price limits. <laughs> and I just... I love the small details. Yes, it's amazing how they do that. Yeah. And once you light the candles, it just, it moves. Yes. And it, yes. I've loved this since I was a child. Mm -hmm. So that's really gorgeous. And it's all handmade. Yes. Oh. Yeah. And it shows really they understand something. It would be on my list, actually, yeah. to go to Lausche and see the, maybe see a workshop and all of this is from the website Erzgebirge Palast. Yeah. We can link that yeah. as well. They have several languages. Yeah, I think they deliver worldwide. Yes, they do. The shop is so big and this is also where we got our Schwibbogen yeah. in German, candle arch. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> and that's something which, so this is our candle arch <laughs> and yeah you put it in a window and, and just turn it on yeah it looks very romantic beautiful yeah. this has got the nativity scene makes an amazing present Jörg and I got it from our yeah. parents some years By ago the way, that's the wrong side is it yeah yes. yeah 
Because of a wire suit. True. Yeah. yeah. It has lights here and down here. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. It is so pretty. Remember we had we still have them, like plastic ones that we got from I think Aldi. Yeah. But I think we've had them for almost 30 years, so they're not broken. But this is something else. This is just another level, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And as I said in the video from Germany, my parents and I actually went back to Villa Rundbach to buy two more plates that I could bring home. So this one, well, this is more like a, a little bowl, is it? Yes. So yeah. you can put some sweets on it. Yes. <laughs> mm, I can see the sweets. <laughs> <laughs> and then this gorgeous plate. This is actually, it, it's a limited edition from 2020. And it reminds me of the Victorian times. I yes, it, it looks like a Victorian card. Yeah, yes. And with yeah. yeah, it does. And I thought it would be perfect for our... English house. Yes. Yeah. And on, you have to do the sweets, you know. Yeah. You have to do yeah. the sweets. Yeah. Something yeah. that we've known all our lives, yeah. I think. Domino Steine. Yes, Domino so, Steine. Dominoes. Yeah. Really mm. good. Yes. Oh. Perfect. Paired with a lovely cup of tea. Yeah. Or coffee, of course. And then. What I love is the kachar. Oh. So called. Printen. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's just a kind of biscuit with um, nuts and chocolate. Yeah, it's, I think, almonds. Yes. Very good. Yeah. But it's... Oh, <laughs> already the smell is so good. Yeah. Of course, we will bake a little bit as well. Yeah, but, but we don't do them. No, we, no, we haven't done them no. so far. This is something. Yeah, which is good for tea time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. My grandma used to do them. Yeah, did she? Yeah, yes, she did. did, yes. So it, they are called Gewürzspekulatius. Yes. I remember because my grandma had some wooden molds which she would use and she would, let's say, to get the shape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, the smell, because they have a lot of spices, yes. Christmas spices, festive yeah, spices. All, all spice. It's really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Be available, I think, at Aldi or Little here. I'm yes. pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, well, I haven't checked it. Also, the Lebkuchen yes. should be available. Oh, yes, at That's, Aldi. Oh. I've already had some. <laughs> no German Christmas without Lebkuchen. Yes. yes, these are ones with chocolate, but you can get them without chocolate, so with just a kind of icing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you can get them with chocolate with a white icing. And with a kind of you know, plain. Yeah, plain, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. All of them are good. Yes, because they all taste like all smooth, all spices and just like Christmas. I have to say, it's they are quite easy to make at home. Yeah. But um, we also buy, yeah. buy them. So, yeah. And... And finally... Oh, you have one more. <laughs> yes. I forgot about it. I think that's... What a lot of people know from Germany, Stollen. Stollen, yeah. yeah. And I was lucky to find a gluten-free yeah. one, Chris Stollen. So she can eat this and I can eat this. <laughs> we share. We, of course, share. And it would be great to make one yeah. ourselves, but uh, I'm not sure. I think we should have started now. It because takes time. It takes yeah. some time. I think it's not difficult to make. no. no. But yeah, we just wanted to try the small one, and I think that should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Because we don't eat tons of strong. No. And yeah, <laughs> we are also, we have a lot of stuff. This is not all of it, um, just a small selection. I mean, we we bought several of those. Yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah. But to be honest, because last year we didn't have any of them. No, no, that's yeah, true. So we couldn't go to Germany. I think we had some of the Domino Steine. Yes, we actually. I think we got one. them from from Aldi. Yes. So yeah, if you want to try them, check out Aldi or yeah, Little. Because I'm going to try one now. <laughs> and they are also mm. 
available in white with mm -hmm. white chocolate. Very good as well. And some some brands offer gluten free ones, which is great for me. And yeah, mm. this is just what we wanted to show you. Yeah, we think we have some nice additions. Yeah, and can't wait to decorate our tree. But I must admit, at first when I ordered these ones, I thought, hmm, let's put them on a table and no, bowl. No, no, they will look nice on the tree. Yeah, I think so too. And we never go, you might have seen last year, we never go, so many people just go for a colored theme yes, tree. Yeah, like a blue one or a pink. silvery one or a pink one. No, we never do that. No, we, we just go very colorful. Yeah. So as you can see, Jörg and I are getting into the festive spirit. Yes, this was our starter. Yes, this was our starter. Yeah. And this is what makes Christmas special for us. Yes, this is what we like yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, we just, we keep it very traditional and... Yeah, that's how we grew up, because we grew up with these things. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And do share what you like about about Christmas yeah. or what makes it traditional for you. Oh, what's your tradition at Christmas? Exactly, yeah. because we have so many viewers from all over the world, so it's interesting to read to read about your traditions. Yeah. And yeah, next time we'll see you, we will probably share how we decorate our tree. Yeah, you might see me on a ladder uh, <laughs> decorating our staircase. You Oh yeah, because I was going to say our tree isn't that big that no. you need a ladder. No. No. But yeah, exactly. So we'll see you again very soon. Yeah. And we can't wait. Yeah, take care of yourself. Take care. And until next time. Bye bye. Bye.